on guys it's ray b10 with stock talks i hope everybody's falling falling forward and not backwards with love peace and happiness if you're new to my channel if you haven't already please subscribe hit like please hit the bell okay guys check this out just wanted to tune in with you guys man and let you guys know what um exactly what i've done today in terms of um the stock market um i increased uh my bngo ticker symbol bngo by 15 shares I'm currently sitting at 115 shares with BNGO. Okay, I saw the 5% dip and I end up scooping up um, 15 more shares. I end up buying BTN just like I said it, just like I said in my last last night's video. I end up buying 500 shares, you know, at the 20% dip. I'm expecting this thing to um, rally up hopefully tomorrow or next week, but we'll see. There's really no telling. Um, I'm going to let it ride up for about $3 and a quarter, $3.50. Um, and just go ahead and close out and come out of it. So that way, you know, I just made a few bucks, made a few hundred bucks or whatnot. I also ended up buying 100 more shares of um, IPOE. I saw them come down in the high $23 range. So I ended up buying um, 100 more shares. Okay, so now my cost basis is uh, $24, $24 and some change. Um, so taking a look at BTN, I'm actually 0.05% high. I was actually higher this afternoon, but obviously, you know, this thing is up and down and we all know that, right? So I'm just going to be patient and wait for this thing to rally up about three and a quarter, three and a half. IPOE, yep, they're back up and jumping. They were kind of slow this afternoon. Um, so I'm actually almost 1% high with IPOE. It kind of dipped um, this afternoon and I'm sure you guys saw that too. BNGO, if you guys are invested in BNGO. Right now they are five and a half down in terms of percentage. So right now, if you wanted to increase your um your position, you can probably increase your position between five to fifteen shares, nibble away at them. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, guys, that's exactly what I've done today in terms of the stock market. Now let me just go ahead and shift the conversation into discussing time frames. If you guys don't know time frames in the stock market, and I've paid attention and I've I really tuned in and um, really, really focused on time frames, okay? And um, paid attention to detail when it comes to timing. Guys, when the open, when the market opens up at 9.30 in the morning, you, we, we, you will experience that volatility, that rush, okay? And that's the day traders. From 9.30 to about 10.30, 10.45 is when day traders come in and, um, you know, ride that wave and sell back out real quick, like jump in and jump out, okay? So they make their profits and that's that. And then around noon, you know, lunchtime, right before noon, 11 o'clock, 1130-ish, all the way up until probably really, um, you know, all the way up until 3 o'clock, the power hour, okay? Power hour is 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, you know, you would see um, all your stocks and your dash ticking away and you will see like substantial increases you know, during the power hour. Now, in between 11 to 2 and 2 o'clock or from 11 to 3 o'clock, you will see everything kind of slow down. You will see, um, you know, stocks kind of selling off and you're like, man, what the hell is going on? But guys, just don't panic, you know, stay stay with the course on all your investments, you know what I mean? And I guarantee you at 3 o'clock, you look at it again, it's like powerhouse, man. This thing is working. This thing is ticking. Just like POE, right, for an example. I'm like, man, what's going on with POE today? They're down like twenty high $23. And I'm like, man, I'm in a negative. But if you look at them now, and it's 3.30 in the afternoon, it is jumping, okay? So, um, and actually, my 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 day gains has um, decreased substantially. So, you know, I was like negative 1,200, my all-day gain. Um, so, you know, right now it went from like 12 thir or, or 1300 down to minus 984. Okay. So what's really killing me is S power and that's going to be another conversation. Um, so guys, yeah, pay attention to the time frame, man. And, um, don't panic from 11 to two or 11 to three, you know, from nine, again, nine 30 to about 10 45 is the peak hours for day traders. And then, um, the last hours power hour. Okay. So you would see either a lot of buys, you would see, and then actually pay attention to like close to four o'clock, you know, you would see like massive sell-offs too, you know, people want to eat, especially on a Friday, right? 
I mean, it seems like people sell off late in the afternoon also and sell off, you know, because people want to eat, enjoy the weekend, enjoy their fruits, etc. So don't panic. And then come Monday morning, things are just jumping and hopping again. You know what I mean? So don't ever panic sell, guys. Another one um, is uh, buying the dip. Be careful when buying the dip, man. When you guys buy the dip, make sure you guys are buying the dip at 5%, 10% low. Um, and if you want to increase your position, always buy the dip because what happens is, if you buy, you know, if you buy high and let's say you're at $13 a share and you had 100 shares um, and you, let's say you want to grow it another 50 or 100 shares and now your cost basis at the time was $13 and let's say the stock now rose all the way up to $17 and then one morning you were like, well, I got some extra money. Let me increase the position, you know, on this stock. Um and you drop another 100 shares on top of your existing 100 that you bought for $13, you will increase your cost basis substantially. You will literally go from like $13 a share to like $17 a share, okay? So I've done that, made that one mistake, man, and I caught it. I'm like, oh, wow, I will never, ever do that again. So guys, just be careful. Buy the dip, buy low. Or the best thing to do is, for example, if you had 15 shares at $13 and um, you wanted to increase your position, you know, you'll have to nibble away between like five, ten, fifteen dollars a share. Okay, the minute you drop big on them, and 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 the cost basis now is surpassed what you've bought it because you've bought low and you're in the green. Um, you know, you will bring your cost basis up. So be careful with that, man. That will end up screwing you. So I actually screwed myself on um, on S Power last week, but uh, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to get out of this rabbit hole because I'm kind of holding um holding the bag a little bit, not too much, but uh. We'll see. We'll see what happens next week and how it plays out. But anyway, that's another conversation there. Um, so, yeah, guys, man, just be careful. Or another thing you can do, let me just add this in there, is if you, like, had 15 shares because you wanted to give the stock a try and you found out that, you know, it was a good company and it's, they, have an, you know, they have a good, good um, rise in terms of pricing and everything like that and, and you just felt really comfortable, if you had 15 shares, in my opinion, your better bet is just to close out the position take your profits, you know what I mean, and then buy in, you know, your 100, 125 shares at the new dip price, okay, at the new buy-in level, and then you just let it ride up, so you can do it that way too, guys, so, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what I've done, that's pretty much the tip I can give you guys when, um, when, 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 when growing your positions, um, and also, um, what was the other one? And also time frames. Sorry, I'm just getting derailed here trying to unlock my other phone. And also um, time frames, okay? So, again, just be wise, you know, pay attention to the time frames when buying stock. Never buy in during the peak hours because you will end up holding the bag. I prefer buying stocks around between 11 and 2, okay? That is your slow period. And sometimes I may even buy, like, at the last... 10 minutes before this before the market closes you know you can determine if people sell off and then prices will go down then and then you could catch it at a lower cost so pay attention to the time guys pay attention to the dip never panic sell um and that's really some additional tips that i can relate to you guys um so now let me go ahead and hop on let's go ahead and discuss uh apxt yeah apxt is back down to 15 dollars and 77 cents a share we saw them come up um, at $17.28, I believe, um, to be exact, $17, yep, and 28 cents was the day, all-time day high for the day. The 52-week high, all-time high is $17.90, so at some point, APXT is going to test the 52-week high, $17.90, okay, so it seems like uh, APXT kind of just went back down to to where it was um i believe this is just giving this is great and it's giving others you know the opportunity to um buy in and i refer that to as um loading the rockets that's all apx2 is doing is we're loading the rockets okay um it's going to take us on a nice ride so guys if you guys need to expand your positions if you guys need to buy more right now is a great time to buy them they are 15 dollars and 72 cents I don't think this is going to go below $14 anymore. 
I know a few people who bought them at 13 and they're holding on strong, okay? I know people who bought them about, you know, in the 14 range too, holding on strong. Um, again, 15 at this point is love. 16 is happy, guys. So this is giving everybody the opportunity to load the rockets and buy more. Hold strong. Be patient. And um, this will take off. You know, my my speculative, my, my speculation on the price target is, you know, just to play it safe. I say between 20 and 25, but I truly believe this thing could surpass, um, you know, maybe hit 30, a little over 30, you know, to play it safe on the higher end between 25 and 30. Okay, so that is my price target for APXT. Guys, that's all I have for now, man. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a blessed day. I hope you guys... Um, Continue to fall forward and not backwards with love, peace, and happiness. And guys, stay focused. You know, consistency. And um, take your feelings out of the game, man. And never look back. You know, whether you, whether you are in the loss or whether you are, you know, up on gains, okay? And you sold off. Never look back. Just keep playing it. Stay consistent. Keep playing the game. Keep flipping one to two, two to four, four to, you know, 48, eight to 16, 16 to 32. That's how we run this thing over here, man. We continue to flip this money, especially for the young people. If you guys are still young, that's that's exactly what I'm doing, man. I still have time. I'm trying to, my, my main goal is to um, have a million dollars in 10 years. So right now, flipping the money game is, is, is really what I'm all about. Um, I will get into the long-term holds. Probably later on down the road. Like I said, just the other day I did pick up some. Um, I picked up all four um, ARC ETFs. So as as I gain winnings, I move them to the ARC ETF. So that way I have some professionals on my team to also flip my money, okay? Alongside me flipping my own money. Alongside Kathy Wood's team flipping my money, okay? So that is exactly what I'm doing. Every proceed, every gains I get, I'll pick up a ARC you know, ARKK share or ARKG share or ARKW share or ARKG or F, you know. Um, and that's exactly what I do, guys. So, guys, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in to Stock Talks. It's your boy, Ray B. Tan. I'll see you guys in my next video. And, um, yeah, you guys stay safe out there, man. And um, let's get this money and let's eat together in a community way so that way we can secure the bag, you know, secure the future for our children. And also secure the bag for anything you guys want to procure, i.e. a car, house, you know, shopping spree, whatever the case may be, you know, maybe some some travel um, excursions. So, guys, man, let's stay focused. Let's eat together. You know what I mean? With love, peace, and happiness, your boy Ray B. Tan, man. Peace.